Welcome back to DS Trucks. In today's video, I want to talk about how we are securing our new dump trailer, our 16 foot 16K short track. And if you follow the channel, then you know that this is our second dump trailer. The first one was tragically stolen by one of our POS employees. But we got a new one and we have increased our security measures. Number one, GPS tracker. Um, we do have a GPS tracker on the on the trailer here. Uh, it is locked inside of the box, which I will unlock it and show you guys a GPS tracker. And we also have a coupler hitch from Proven Industries. I'll show you that. And we are chaining up both sides. Previously, we only chained up one side, but this time we are chaining both. So let me grab the keys and I'll get the locks and I'll show you what we are working with. See you guys in a second. All right, so this is what we are working with as far as locks. So we have a Proven Industries coupler lock right here, and this is the bigger one that fits the Bulldog hitch, and that is what we have, the Bulldog, the Bulldog hitch. So one of the issues with this whole design of this new trailer, unfortunately, is it's not as easy to secure this one because you cannot lock the bolts on the hitch now the old style hitch you could have uh, I didn't I wasn't aware I didn't realize and I wasn't aware that Proven Industries actually has a lock that will lock the side here of this hitch to the truck so what I was doing is because I didn't have a lock I was taking this off and taking this with me so had I had this coupler lock which they have one that's a little bit smaller to fit the old style or the other style that I have this or had excuse me had this was the old coupler and I still have the coupler not the trailer because I was taking it off I believe this will fit that but the one that fits this one won't fit that won't fit uh, the new trailer because that is such an oversized um, coupler this this thing fits like really it's barely it barely fits it's still a little bit close um, it's like it, it's literally rubbing the paint uh in order to get in there but because this is so big i don't know if it'd be less secure or not but i will say this is a pretty uh pretty good setup i did see on the lock picking lawyer where he talked about these puck locks and he said he showed a couple different ways to defeat the lock which the average guy the average thief doesn't know how to do that but uh they did recommend to not get the upgraded stainless steel just to get the aluminum one and that is what I did. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with this. I will be welding the nuts. And that is why the trailer. So you want these gloves? Why are you bringing me this? You need it? I can open it for you. Give me a second. I will be welding the the bolts to the trailer so they cannot be removed and I will be welding the other holes and that's the downside is because of this new design they don't have locks that fit this although I do wonder if the proven industries lock for a nut or the bolt would actually just fit here I'm, I'm not sure I don't see why it wouldn't it's pretty tight kind of like how it would be I don't know why they don't have a lock that fits this must not be enough demand for them to go go ahead and design it um, give me a second there must not be a big enough demand for them to go ahead and design that but even so they could throw a different hitch on here so I have to close up these holes in order to make it so you can't get another hitch onto the trailer so that is how that is so let's go ahead and take apart this Proven Industries lock and see how that uh, whole mechanism works. All right, guys, let's see if I can work this with one hand here. Uh, so I got the key, put it in here, and uh, just turn it one of these directions. There you go. Just like that. Puck comes out. And then these two parts come separate. Oh. Now this one, careful this grease. This one goes up in the coupler. You lock the coupler down, you slide the puck back on it. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. This will let us know how difficult this is. So boom, 
foot on it to hold it because I only got one hand. Pull that pin. Oh, boom. Doable with one hand. So good job, Proven Industries. Uh, and then you take this here. Now this you put back uh, through through the hole. Like that. Sorry, I'm only working with one hand. And then this one uh, goes on just like this. Watch your fingers. Like I was saying, it gets, honestly, look how tight it gets right there. Like it's just enough space. It's literally like hitting the paint, but it does fit. It's just a very close, tight fit. So you gotta push it on there. Ah, just like that. So doable with one hand, which is nice. Just lets you know how simple it is. Now, one thing I do wish was a little different is the fact that if they would have made this a little bit longer this, this metal here if it just were a little longer it could it could potentially interfere with these bolts coming out as it sits you can still take the bolts out although I will say with them being torqued it's a quite a you've got to bring an impact and it's it takes a minute I mean it, it's like cutting off a lock you know being able to take four of these bolts off if you're gonna use an impact it's gonna be very noisy if not uh, that's an issue, but we're gonna weld those. We're gonna weld those shut. We're probably gonna have to weld these extra holes shut as well. But then this is still a deterrent. Boom, and now it is locked. Now for the wheels, we can go ahead and show you that. Since we're working with one hand, I'll go and show you this as well. So I got these, uh, what's it called, Abus. I ordered these locks from Amazon and these chains I ordered from Amazon, they are security chains. They have a nice cover on them, which helps you prevent destroying your wheels for as long as possible until that wears off. And I think they sell replacement covers if, you, if it's really an issue. Uh, but then you just put this on. I gotta get, Nathan, can you help me? Can you go get my keys? They're over there. Thank you, boy. All right. So once I get those keys, I'll unlock this. Thank you, you're the best. So if I can do this one hand, you never know, one day I could lose a hand. Oh wait, I got three hands. Thank you. So we put our key in here. Uh, you hold the lock, I'll turn it. You got it, hold it tight. There. Did I get it? No? Alright, let's see here if I can do this. Hold on one second, guys. Alright, so I had to use my other hand real quick. But anyway, uh, so you take the chain and then you just put it through here like this. And you pretty much do the same thing for both tires. See how long this takes. Now, the issue I had is Proven Industries actually makes a wheel lock, but their wheel lock only works up to 16 inches. And I have 17.5 inch tires. So my one gripe with Proven Industries is they're, they're 
they're not covering all the trailers. Once you start to get into some of these bigger ones, you start to have some issues. So from there, you can lock it. lock it but you can also wrap it around the leaf spring in order to make sure you really can't get it and then the, that's on both sides now all this stuff can be cut it can be removed it's not perfectly secure so I guess the point of all the locks is you really have to make some kind of noise in order to get these off you can't quietly get all this off Maybe you could get the Proven Industries off if you've been watching Lock Picking Lawyer. Maybe you could uh, get the wheel locks off, but you're probably going to get noticed. And there's 24-7 security where I'm parking now. And yeah, so that is kind of how we're playing it. It's just here for the weekend as I'm working on stuff. Now, as far as GPS is concerned, there is one GPS on here and it's locked inside of here so you've got to break into this thing first and then the gps is located right there and it's labeled gps and it is blinking so if you get in here you have to take this off then you have disabled the GPS so that's that but anyway guys this is it for trailer security thank you for watching DS trucks see you in the next one and over and out